Uh, okay. you, you want to see the puppets first? Or whatever you want to do. Okay, I want to show you with the, the control room first. And we uh, air my shows on a three-quarter inch broadcasting tape, which I type uh, out the labels to make them real neat. Get rid of that yellow tape. And then I put my piano playing on cassette tape that I sing in back of. Uh, and he's typing in my rundown sheets right now uh, for the show I produce. And it takes, it took me three days to put this show together to type up the script and everything. Um, and uh, they do the best work, Delphia does the best work on my show, uh, uh, Chris and, and, and Mark. They do very good professional work on my show. My show. This is, uh, he does a wonderful job. If, without his help, uh, my shows wouldn't be aired. Uh, my number is 38 and they air my show every uh, Sunday. And he does a wonderful job of doing the playback of shows. And now George has been on my show now for two years, and he's a school teacher, and he is, uh, his name is George. He's been on my show for two years. He's done wonderful uh, professional work on my show. And if I couldn't get him, such, he's been very helpful in even driving me so I can be on time. So I'm very lucky to have him. He's even a school teacher. I'm an ex-music teacher. So how, how do you find your guests for your show? Oh, I, when I, I just feel led by the spirit. If I see someone professional or artistic like George, I tell them I like them to be a guest on my show. And, yeah. and they, they, I've had problems with girls standing me up. They are real stinkers. Um, same as dating out here. Just want to tell us a little bit more about what you have plans. What's the theme I think you said? Well, we're doing two themes. We're doing a theme about substance. Substance is the is the uh, is the second show, so, uh, and love is the first show. Substance is telling that our source of supply comes from God, and that if we pray to God and, and focus, we can't lack anything. My second show is uh, on love, teaching kids and people of all races to love all religions and all people equally. And then I understand we have Francine Dancer is going to be on the show. Francine Dancer, she's done eight of my shows. Um, um, uh, George has done two years of my shows. He's done about 25 or 30 of my shows. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to make him copies of all of them. What does Francine usually do on the show? Because well, I've seen her she, show and she dances. Well, she's going to dance on my show, but she does going to keep it clean because this is a religious show. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, Francine, tell us what you're doing here today. Oh, uh, so what I'm doing, it, it's uh, David Ungerhart is doing the... Uh, Junior Christian Science Show, and I'm a guest on the show. He wants me to dance and tell kids to stay off of drugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that is that um, have you've done the show before, right? Yes, I've done a few. Of them, I think. What's it like? What's the experience usually like when you're done? It's funny, you know. I when I'm doing the show, I can't talk to him. I talk to the puppets. Yeah. It's like it's a little real chips or a little kid or something. <laughs> I, it, it's a little inhibiting though, because I I try. It's hard to not dance sexy, you know, when I'm doing the gospel. <laughs> you know, I feel a little bit. Well, what can I do? You know, it, it really limits me a lot. But it, it's okay, I guess, to do stuff like that once in a while for the kids, for general audience. It's kind of fun. How do you feel about that? You say the kids. Do you just, do you think that? Do, do, do the kids watch it? Do you think? Well, it's for it's a children's show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. We're all are accepted and not are rejected. We are so blessed by the Almighty God that we have two talented people with us. We have Francine Dancer, and we have the talented George, who's a school teacher, a substitute school teacher. Do you have an affirmation, uh, Francine Dancer, to teach kids to say no to drugs, crack cocaine, heroin, and all that bad stuff? Yes, uh, when I was little, drugs were aspirin and cough medicine. <laughs> that's, that's all it should be if it's really necessary, if you're sick, you know, if a doctor prescribes something. But we're talking about heroin. Bad, bad drugs that hurt you, you really don't need to do them. You, you could get high on life through Jesus. Thank you. Just give a whack, say no to crack, heroin, and all that bad, uh, bad drugs that are bad, smoking and drinking, that stuff that's bad for you. Okay, through the perfect law of God we're clear
I was thinking I could do a second show, but I guess that's the caboose, the end. But I, I, uh, it's a big challenge to do a, pu a public access show, to type up the script and do the music and the art. And I'm very lucky to have a wonderful crew from Delphia Cable that always does a good professional job for me. Yeah. Uh, How did the show go today? Well, it went smooth. I shut my, you know, my, my, there was little bumps there, but my, with my, but it, I'm grateful that it, w it went okay. Yeah. But I can, it's up, like Mrs. Eddy says, there's always room for improvement. Okay, I've got to go get the other stuff down. Okay, you can probably film them. What's this on the What's the one? Oh, his Kaiser Auto. Yeah? How long did you have Kaiser? Uh, Kaiser was professionally built for me. He's a puppet I paid to have done. It cost me five thousand dollars to get built. It took me three years to pay for him. When uh, Albert Herman was body was stolen, and uh, he was the he was a big black puppet. I had had black eyes. I had to get a replacement for him. So the replacement I got was Kaiser Auto. But I want to get the, uh, uh, Albert Herman's body built. Okay, I got to get the rest to clean up and to set and bring in the rest. Okay, of we'll go. We're just gonna follow you. Okay. We have to fill out for uh, studio time. Yeah. Okay. Upside down. Okay. Thank you all for the good work on the show, helping me. You all do a wonderful job. No. It was good show. This is the lady who's on the next show. Oh, Christ, a lot of work. Oh, that's a lot of work. work. Yeah, how many hours do you prepare for these well, shows? Well, it took three days to put this show together. I, pra I practiced the piano playing for two days and put it on cassette tape. And then I'm, the, the songs all tie in with the topic. Now, the topic I was doing was on supply, substance. So I make all the hymns tie in with the Bible passages. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, George, when's it gets Saturday? What are you doing, David? I'm filling out the paperwork for the, my next studio time. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 this is their standard procedure. You, if you want more studio time, you have to fill out um, this, this form, which I'm filling out. I need more studio time because they passed a new rule that they, you can only air shows for the f one time, and 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 that's why to keep my time slot. Um, and this in this Delphi in the Valley, I'm on every Sunday consistently at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. And if you, you to, to stay to keep my time slot, I've got to have fresh new shows. David, how many shows have you done? Oh my God, I have done twelve thousand and nine hundred shows from 1988. Till now. It's pretty it's impressive. Lot. Yeah. That's a lot of work. So, David. Yeah? You can just get the mic right up under. Yeah. How'd the show go? It went very smooth, but yeah. I just, my only complaint was, is we normally are able to get two shows in. Yeah. And I was just disappointed that we couldn't get two shows because they, they made a new strict rule that if you don't have, they're, they're not airing old reruns. Everything's got to be new and they can only play it once. And, and, and that's what's scaring me. We can still fit it in. George, how did you think the show went? I'm sorry um, I didn't talk to you. It's just been kind of chaotic. I'd like to just get your oh, yeah, take on the show. Oh, yeah, it went, um, yeah, you know, it has its bumps and things. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very unrehearsed show. It's practically live and uncensored. So, I mean, we're left to our own devices. Okay, I don't like it. I'm getting bald at 45. Quick question for you. What's that? Do you think that God likes puppets? I think God loves puppets. They're fun for kids. I believe he created them to, to, to get a reflection of, a reflection of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, David.